are you going to be, say, 10 years down the line? Is there still going to be two hats, a Janoon and... Or is Ali as well uh, going to... I hope, I'm hoping that there'll be like six hats to wear uh -huh. by that time, you know. I, I want to set up myself in, in such a way that... You're going to yes, be a new hip-hop artist? Yeah, I, I want... I, exactly. Uh -huh. I, you know, that's exactly what I'm saying, you right. know. I want to do something like that. Uh -huh. I want to go like left field from wherever I'm standing today. Right. Because otherwise, if I'm doing another album which sounds exactly like Social Circus, yeah. then there'll be something wrong, you know. And that's what happens with most of the musicians. Once you find a formula, you want to stick to that. Here, it's going on. Bon Jovi, they go from years ago. YouTube, they're singing. They're singing. They're singing. They're singing. They're singing. But at the same time, you have to realize bands like Queen, they went from Night of the Opera to Day at the Races to, mm. you know, Innuendo to, I mean, they went all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And without that, uh -huh. there would be no Queen. Right. Even for, for you two, they went discotheque to Zuropa or whatever. They came back to their sound. Yes, you know, this is what we do the best. But at the same time, without that the evolution, there won't be any of that. Right. So I mean, you can't really work with the formula and say, yeah, this is a formula and I want to work with the formula for the rest of my life. So yes, I, I was talking to, I just recorded a song with Shankar Mahadevan, an Indian guy, mm -hmm. and Zakir Hussain. And I was discussing, they're discussing, you know, they, they play with six different outfits, uh -huh. okay? Shankar plays with six six different outfits. He He's playing, uh, touring with Shakti, uh, what's that, Shakti, right? Shakti, John McLaughlin. John McLaughlin, uh, Zakir Hussain, Shankar Mahadevan is a lead vocalist for that. Uh -huh. He's also in Shankar, Shankar Asan Loy. Then he's in another band where they go perform live with Ranjit Barod. Uh -huh. So, I mean, every day he's doing something different. Yeah. See, that's what I want to do. That, if I sit somewhere in the next day and I'm my Mm -hmm. How the hell am I going to sing with Zakir Hussain? Right. Well, I somehow will, you know, get there. Uh -huh. But, you know, that's the that's the point, right? Yeah. You have to challenge yourself every now and then. Uh, what's the number of that phone, by the way? Which number is that? This one. Uh, yeah, zero... Yeah. All right. Zero three hundred. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just thought so. I received a call from a zero three hundred number. Yes. That's okay. True. You're not very loyal, are you? Yes, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. We really enjoyed. This. Thank you for having me on your show. Thanks a lot. I'm a big fan. What's Thank the name of the show? Uh, on the go. On the go. <laughs> you watch it a lot, right? Yeah. yeah. Every Sunday. No, I at least see the promo of it, like yeah. the Faraz and solo. Yeah. The best guitar solo ever played. Yeah. That is a great solo. That is a great solo. Yeah. So, he's an avid viewer. We have a very fashionable circle of people who watch. Yes. Yeah. And All the fashionable, fashionable people. Of course. Like our show. Even white people, right? Yeah, white people also. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah see, we're everything. we're everything. Anyhow, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. You remember those uh, advertisements? Uh, the roadway to economic prosperity. And remember about the motorway? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The roadway to economic prosperity. You know why they do that, right? I know, but why? Well, look, it's quite simple. You have to make the motorway look like some kind of symbol of progress because one, it's easily demonstrable. There's visual affirmation of the kind of work that is being done. I mean, when you're giving literacy to people, that's not something that can easily be seen and its effects really come after 10, 15 years. Every government wants, you know, within its term to do something that is visible that it can get re-elected on. Number two, Quite frankly, most governments are made up of business interests. They tend to benefit at a personal level from these contracts. Yeah. I mean, who benefits from education? No one but the beneficiary. Exactly. And nobody cares about that. Education is a business nowadays. It's a business, again, only for those who can afford it. For the lowest of the lowest, you know, in the economic tier, they must get it free. If they don't get it free, they have no incentive because otherwise they have other pressing incentives. Exactly. I mean, they have to work, they have to do other things. In fact, there must be a school lunch program all over Pakistan because one of the reasons kids don't go to school is because simply they don't have the money to eat lunch subsequently. When they work, at least they have that, ma they have that money for themselves. So, as far as these huge roads being a symbol of progress, they are a symbol of progress for a very small number of people. You and me? Huh? No, not you and me, you bugger people like Ali Azmat. <laughs>